With John Montgomery's 2010 gold medal win in Vancouver, Canada's skeleton team established itself as the best in the world. In 2006, they made a near sweep of the podium and earned a bronze in women's skeleton. Success starts here at Canada's Olympic Park. So why is Canada so good at this particular sport? We decided to ask 2006 gold medalist Duff Gibson. Duff is also the head coach for Team Canada. Well, that's a, that's a good question. I think part of it has to do with history. Um, it, the, the Olympic, the 88 Olympic track was, was finished in 87. And around that time, there was some good skeleton athletes not the least of which was Ryan Davenport, who was a two-time world champion and started building sleds. And so that history just sort of fed upon itself. It's also interesting to note that Duff, 39 years old at the time, is the oldest Winter Olympic gold medalist in an individual sport. People, you know, if they're introducing me, if I'm making a, a speech or a presentation somewhere, they often mention that and I'm like, you must be proud of how old you were when you did it, I guess so. It's just, you know, are you proud of your age? It is, it's just when I was born, you know. We also asked the same question of Jeff Payne, who says he and Ryan Davenport are key. Yeah, all these guys that are on now, I mean, their, their main goal when they came into Skeleton was um, beat Jeff Payne. And they knew when they did, they'd be some of the best in the world, and, and they are. Jeff Payne is the most accomplished athlete in the history of the Canadian Skeleton Program with three world championships, including the overall world title twice, and finishing just behind Duff Gibson to capture the silver medal in 06. I think Canada as well because, the, because of the culture of, of Skeleton and the belief that Canadians can do well in Skeleton. Um, you know, Ryan Davenport was the original Canadian who succeeded on the world stage and and I kind of grew up in skeleton chasing him. So once it got to the point where I could beat him, I knew that when I beat Ryan, I would be one of the best in the world. And, you know, Duff and Paul and, and so many other sliders kind of grew up chasing me. And they knew that when they were able to beat me, they'd be the best in the world. And it's, it's that continual turnover of, of um, really good sliders who bring the belief and, and bring the expectation of winning. So why skeleton? A sport where one slides down an ice track headfirst at over 100 kilometers an hour. In our sport, we, we joke that we I run 30 meters, fall down, try not to die. Well, that's, that's actually a very long and complicated answer. Um, it, it, when I, beginning with me watching the Montreal Olympics in, in 76 and deciding that I didn't care what sport it was, but just being so enthralled with that, and, and I just thought I want to be a part of that somehow and so over the years I've tried so many different sports and ultimately that led me to living in Calgary and sort of a brief highlight in of just being in Calgary is speed skating. Um, Originally I tried a bit of track and then from there I did some sprint training. I uh, thought I should be a decathlete uh, that didn't work out so well. I got into bobsledding. Uh, so then I tried bobsled. Uh, that didn't work out so well either bobsledding to skeleton so it was really a, uh, a roundabout route but ultimately ended up at, at skeleton because it was the one I had the best chance of making it to the Olympics in. 15 years later I made it to three Olympics. It was more a desire to represent one's country as Jeff shows when asked about the highlight of his career. Representing Canada probably that would be the highlight is, is being able to represent Canada on the world stage um, saying, you know, look at us, we're, we're, we're awesome as a country. So who can we look forward to watching in Sochi racing for Canada? I would say that John Montgomery's fiance is someone that I coached on the B team for the last couple of years and her name's Darla Deschamps. And she is someone who will be, you know, potentially a medal threat in Sochi and maybe before that at world championships and stuff. Either way, it should be interesting to watch Canada, as always, 
represent.